Now, we last our last week we were talking about when do we know when to end a relationship or to hang in there and for it to evolve and for it to grow like one person's outgrowing the other person or the or uh, 75 like it's a pie and the majority of the pie is really good but there's a piece of the pie maybe it's a smaller piece than a quarter that is just not working and how to navigate that and how to tell the difference between when it will never be fixed that piece of the pie will always be missing oh. and to accept that and what do you do with that so I that's kind of where I think we left it with that is where yeah. we left it um, I have just had I've had two experiences actually that I think taught me so much um, one of my last relationships you know the sex wasn't there like we were struggling mm -hmm. um, you know I was actually the one wanting to have more of it than you know my partner and um, we had had a discussion well why don't we take six months off and or mm -hmm. six weeks off I think it was and it was like you yeah. go do your thing I'll do my thing and then we'll meet back up and see if you know do we want to be together do we want to be together and have something open or do we just want it to end mm -hmm. you know and this was one of those mm -hmm. things where um, the opportunity to you know do we grow or do I stay or like why was I doing that mm -hmm. what parts of this were good and what was my decision making really based off of um, I am a communicator you know, right. like I'm a super communicator and, and speaking words is so important to me. And I was like, okay, you know, my questions into that were, you know, are we going to talk about this? You know, like, mm -hmm. and you know, my partner did not want, he didn't want, didn't want to talk about anything. Mm -hmm. You know, there wasn't going to be any, there wasn't going to be any discussions of like what you did, what we did. It was just like, we're going to go out, see how it feel and come back and then see how we feel. And like, he was wanting to avoid this conversation. And there were two things. One, it was like, I realized like how open, you know, I am about creating my, my relationship and, and mm -hmm. it being whatever I need it to be, right. you know, and for both of our needs and that unconditional love yeah. part of what I can't give and what I can't, but like the togetherness, but the piece, you know, my decision making on that was that I realized how important communication was mm -hmm. and that no matter if we opened this, if we didn't, mm. that communication was not mm -hmm. important yeah. or as high on, on the list of priorities For to him. them as it was yeah. with me. And mm -hmm. that was just like a fundamental, right. you know, it's like almost like a bottom line. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it, it was a, it was a truly, really a true acceptance of if communication is never if it's not something you can be comfortable with. And there were other signs looking back, you know, before I made this decision mm -hmm. on what was red flagging me on right. the, the communication was just something we weren't even working on. It didn't see us as an issue and like what I would have to go through with that, you know, but it wasn't even a want, you yeah. know, and it was like, yeah. I don't even want to, you know, and well, I, that, that's just <laughs> a, a, you know, that's a what right. got killer to me. You know, that's like, <laughs> You know, you're a sweet person, you're wonderful, and this is not going to work. And I send you off with blessings because yeah. I'm not yes. going to settle for less. And that's what we do most of our life. Mm -hmm. you know? and it was like, a, it was, it was like, you know, this piece was such a growth in like where I was, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, yeah. in that in a different situation, this would have been something totally that I would have worked through yeah. yeah. versus like, that was how I knew, should I let this go? Or is this something to keep? Because like, we could have done that, but this thing that I saw mm -hmm. in a moment that was so clear, it wasn't even about anything that was happening. No, my no. needs, their needs. It was like, yeah. in this relationship, we've had a communication issue mm. that like, <sighs> is that's a foundation piece. So I think one mm. of the things important about um, if you're dating or even if you're in a long-term relationship like Michael and I are is we still have our bottom lines oh. and so. there's and I'm and I had a bottom line like when we first got together one of it is being a good communicator I don't deal no passive aggressive mm -hmm. you know I live with that don't want that <laughs> you know and somebody who's willing to grow Mm -hmm. somebody who's willing to challenge themselves and that we make an agreement that we we can challenge each other in a supportive way because we're here on this planet to evolve and to grow and to become the best possible human beings we can be yeah. and I personally have outgrown every single relationship I've ever been in mm -hmm. because I'm really committed 
to evolving and growing and owning it when I'm wrong and changing things you know right now I'm changing how I write to remind myself every single time I pick up a pen that there's a deeper thing that I'm working at changing and mm -hmm. I'll forget about it because life takes you know life happens so I am literally printing in capitals do you know how challenging it is to change how you write yeah. mm -hmm. but that's that's what I'm doing that's my commitment so because I've outgrown and I said, you know, in the part one, respectfully ending, getting back a year later, giving each other a gift. Thank you for the time we spent with each other. What did, yeah. what did I learn? What did you learn? And apologizing yet again, you know, for the mistakes that we realized. But we have bottom lines. And one of them is the willingness to communicate. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's the willingness to grow. So if my partner yeah. stops growing, if they go into a spiral, you know and they stop being positive and uh, you know it's like whoa do you, this creates distance and separation yeah. in my other situation was that it was on the growth side it was mm -hmm. with i had somebody that i was so sexually compatible with yeah. mm -hmm. you know we were together six mm -hmm. years never missed a day mm -hmm. like, and, and it wasn't getting old there was no sign of yeah. it getting old at all however uh -huh. in like everyday uh -huh. life you know they and God bless them. They were content and they were happy, but there was no, there was no personal growth. Right. You know, right. Yeah. at all. And it was like, hmm. oh, this is yeah. uh, as good as this is. You can have all the cake, yeah. like, which, but you do need both of those things. That's right. And you outgrow mm -hmm. them. And yeah. it's, there, there's a law of the universe and it's called repulsion. Yeah. If you take magnets, <laughs> take two mm. magnets and you put them in the proper way, they will adhes together turn the magnets over they repulse each other yeah so the law of repulsion it's a law and once the energy changes too much uh, you know gr one person is growing and evolving and the other person like the space is, not, is too big the between space them. gets bigger and bigger and the polarity shift and you're actually you you have a hard time being around that person mm -hmm. you know maybe they're just their negativity and right. so how how long are you going to stay in that relationship when you have so many other yeah. things going good so a mm -hmm. part of that is the honesty of saying do you realize you're not growing do you realize you've yeah. stopped your evolutionary pro do you realize that there's space that we are moving into repulsion so you talk about it mm -hmm. yeah i know you know and it just sounds to me like you're nagging me oh okay <laughs> oh okay you know and so i i i don't nag so i don't say anything i'm gonna keep growing yeah i'm gonna keep evolving i hope that you can right catch that's up. really what it comes down to no. is like we're here we're coming together here on, on a journey together we're still on our own journeys yes yes but we're coming together on a journey here and you know if you want to stop <clears throat> that's okay but that means I'm going to be leaving you. <laughs> and some level, some way, uh, you know, I, my path energetically is and eventually physically. Yeah, yeah. You and know? it's at those points where do I have the courage to mm -hmm. let that go mm -hmm. and step into this new fire and see what I find yeah. and create mm -hmm. something new, or do I stay scared yeah. and think? Well, you just have to love me more or maybe I have to do more or maybe, mm -hmm. you know, I just need to stop changing or, you know, like then we go into this, mm -hmm. like, you know, but what creates that whole shift yeah. is that like of the unknown. Well, and I'm afraid of the unknown. I don't yeah. want to grow old by myself. Yeah. And I'd rather stay with something I'm familiar with yep. because at least they're good in this, this, this way. And enough, it's okay. Suffering. Right. Quantify the Could suffering. Could be worse. Well, it's <laughs> <laughs> and then, they, then comes the dishonesty of, well, I'll just take care of my, my sexual needs yeah. outside. I'll do, well, are you Secretly. telling them? Secretive. <laughs> you know, then the lying and the cheating. And then you, can you live with yourself? Yeah, that gets... You know, so it nasty. gets very contaminated without that level of honesty, at least with yeah. honesty. You may not know if, you're gonna, if it's going to bring you together or separate you, but if you have a trust in a higher power, this oh. all comes back to you, one has to have an active, this is my buddy, I am talking to my buddy, I call my friends, and I call spirit, and I mm -hmm. call God or Jesus, you know, because I work with both of them. So mm -hmm. it's like... 
I don't know what the future is going to bring because yeah. I've turned my life over to the care of God. If I'm supposed to stay with you, then it'll work out. Yeah. And if I'm not supposed to stay with you, it'll work out. Yes. Yeah. It, it, you know, it's going to work out because I'm not relying on my ego or on my brain. I am relying on something that has, and it, yes. some people have a belief in, a, in spirit. They have yeah. a belief in Christ or in God, yeah. but they don't live like it they don't act like it mm. it's 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 uh what do you call it when they're just giving you know mouth yeah words just yeah. it's just words mm -hmm. yeah so, lip service right so how do we want to close down this part two of when do you know to leave a partner when do you know to stay and to work oh i know you knew it in your body it did. Your body told you you had this gut kind of knowledge, wisdom that at a different point in time you would have stayed, but this is too that communication piece was too important. Yeah. You knew it. It was in my bones. It yes. really was in my bones. That's how you how, mm. that's how you know. That's how you know. And I didn't it's need in the and I was so okay with the outcome and and like yes. the happiness that I not only wanted to give and receive like I didn't see this. I felt like if I stayed and I wasn't happy, yeah. it would be, you know, like that's not the best for them. Mm -hmm. Right, right. There's that the unconditional <laughs> loving for them yes. as well as for yourself. Yes. And you're at peace. There is a peace. And if you're not at peace, yeah. then don't separate. It's not time. Absolutely. Something magical might happen. So sometimes it's a matter of like just working through your own fears. To yeah. Know that difference oh. too. Oh. I love that. Well, I hope what we have shared, part one and part two, Beautiful. that you enjoyed it, that you've learned something. And by all means, you know, share it. Um, the more people who can can hear our sharing, if we yeah. can touch your heart and your mind, uh, that makes us happy. And um, we're in the holiday season right now, you know, October, right. November, December, January. So I hope that you relax. Let go of stress, make love, listen share to our all videos, the good vibes. share the good vibes, share the good vibes. In every way, shape, and form. That's right. <laughs> Enjoy.